What up, what up? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Uh, it's a great day. I'm a little late to the gym. Holy cow. I hate being late to the gym. You get a bad position, you know, like, because you kind of get there early and claim your spot. My morning routine has become a little bit different these days. Um, but regardless, I always wake up at the same time every day. 5.30, I'm up. Uh, and I get some coffee. I hang out for a bit. I... I try not to go on my phone, but the phone is so addictive, my friends. So addictive. But I really try not to go on my phone at the beginning of the morning because it's, you don't need to be like reactive. I try and spend most of the time thinking about my day, thinking about where I'm gonna go with, with the day, and uh, honestly getting to the gym. The CrossFit gym has been one of the greatest things that I've done in my life and my fitness journey i'm in the best shape of my life i'm not as strong as i want to be but i i'm in the best shape of my life and uh it's because we do these super high intense workouts and i freaking love it they're hard they're really hard but doing hard things makes life worth it just does so i love it and if you guys know me i know you know you know that uh everything i do i try and do like to the best of my ability and you know entrepreneurship is hard so when you're completing hard tasks like hard workouts you know eating healthy getting up on time when you're doing those things it just sets you up for a good day it just sets you up for a good day so i'm gonna take some time drinking some coffee i'm gonna hit the gym um looks like my calendar today doesn't look too bad normally I have coaching calls um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays today's Thursday by the way um, normally I have coaching calls on those days but since I implemented some new marketing with uh, my clients and the leads are starting to come in I said why don't we push it a week so that we can let the leads cycle a little bit because what I'm really good at is I'm really good at the sales side I'm really good at talking to sellers and, and converting leads into acquisitions that's what I'm really good at and so in the trainings I, I like to do that as much as possible with guys because honestly that's where you make money in, in real estate is you make money in the actual conversion of the leads some guys will tell you oh you make money when you assign the contract Ugh. you know what fuck those guys dude they don't know what the hell they're talking about a lot of those guys are just trying to get you to click you know, just click on their their links click on their their videos god the lighting is terrible sorry guys sorry guys viva las vegas where it's always sunny um but no that's what they're trying to do honestly you make money creating your lead funnel creating acquisitions that means signed contracts that's where you make your money the rest is just part of the business the house is a conduit to you making money that is at the end of the day the reality of real estate the reality of wholesale real estate flipping houses so we're gonna have a good day today uh, we're actually interviewing some nannies because we're just so busy we have four businesses that we operate if you didn't know and we're so busy that we're having a hard time balancing our life our family and business and um, yeah, it's just getting difficult. So we're gonna try and hang it. We're gonna hire a nanny. We're interviewing a couple people today. That's definitely on the schedule. I don't think I'm gonna go. I think it's just Leanna's gonna go. And uh, she'll kind of report back if they get a second meeting. So while she's gone, I'll have Atticus. So you guys can see us hang out. I'll probably edit some videos. You'll probably see me on the phone a little bit. I'm working a couple deals in Tulsa right now. Uh, and I got one deal in Birmingham that uh, one of my guys sent me last night, so I'll probably look at that one too. And uh, we'll just kind of keep going through the day. But we're on the way to the gym. Sorry about the lighting, friends and family. All right, workout complete. Honestly, these workouts are getting brutal. Super important, guys, to do some type of workout like this. Like, I love CrossFit because like I told you guys earlier, like it's a really hard way to train and God, I 
love doing hard things, man. Life's too fucking short to do easy things, guys. It's just too short. If you guys watched my video, my vlog, from whenever I posted it, I was talking a lot about being 30 and how time is becoming a lot more valuable to my wife and I. And I did a, I did this test last a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was in my buddy's YouTube video. We went and got our DEXA scan, our VO2 max, and our uh, like resting metabolic rate tested. Really cool data, but the VO2 max is really interesting because that's like the test that if you score really high on VO2 max, you have a uh, greater probability of living, living longer. And so my test was actually off the chart, which was really cool. It was really cool to see that. So like all the hard work in the gym is paying off. Um, I'm starting to get little abs coming in. I'm starting to get leaner. I'm gonna make a shake. Am I barista, baby? Barista baby. All right, today, would you like some oat milk in your latte? I don't know where the that came from. Yeah, that was like not even a barista. I don't Name a barista that has a British accent. You can't, because they don't. Whatever. You know what's funny now is people are like, I'll be at the, I'll be at like, uh, I don't know, Starbucks or something. And I'll be like, oh, can I get whole milk in there? And they're like, oat milk? No, I said whole milk. I don't want your nasty palm oil nonsense in there. Are you kidding me? Use code Natty for good gains. I'm just what? kidding. It's a joke. Natty. Being natural, like I'm not on steroids. Oh. Never heard that before. She's not in the gym culture, guys. She don't. She doesn't understand. I'm an influencer culture. No, she don't I'm understand gym. gym. That's what I just Gym said. life. She she has codes for uh, home goods. No, I don't. Ollie Pops. Ollie Pops. Use code what? Leanna Mrs. 15. Leanna or Leanna fifteen. Leanna fifteen for 15% off Ollie Pops. They're actually pretty delicious. Now, I would have never thought to have a hip baby. Look at this kid. Just bam on the hip. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. He's in a mood today. I think the camera's like tilting this way. We're still learning. Cheers to some creatine in your life. <clears throat> Isn't that funny that we, that we literally said people job off because they don't like management kind of thing? Yeah, that does. All right, we're finally sitting down to do some work. Uh, this is like pretty standard. You know, like I work right here at this computer. At like this computer right here. This is where all the magic happens. I'm dead serious. This is where I, I film content, edit videos. I buy real estate out of state here. Uh, I, I flip houses. I buy rental properties. Like li everything is done right here. It's kind of hilarious. It's not sexy. Like a lot of you guys, oh, I want to get into virtual wholesale. I want to do blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. And we make good money. But it's not sexy. I sit here at this desk, I have my little notebook, I'm on the phone pretty much all day talking to realtors, talking to sellers, talking to wholesalers, talking to you guys, when you guys send me deals in my markets. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes, you know? And so it's, it's pretty hilarious uh, that that's a lot of people get into this and they think it's going to be super sexy and uh, it's not. It's just sitting at a desk all day long. Uh, but the bright side is I work for myself. Nobody tells me what to do. Nobody tells me how I can handle things or anything like that. But you know, we're, we're getting into the business of buying businesses. Also, I'm trying this shake out. It's kind of good. Uh, I'm trying to get some extra protein in. I get tired of just my general protein shake. So giving this a try, it's actually not that bad. I had the strawberry one yesterday, which was pretty good. It's got good ingredients, so recommend it. The process to buying out of state is pretty much what you think. You negotiate a price to the seller, you sign a contract, and then I send out my contractor or realtor to go take photos. Now, a lot of the sellers will be like, oh, you know, do you, I don't want to sign it until, you know, you come see it, blah, blah, blah. I just say this very basically. Hey, you know, I just want to make sure you're serious about this because I'm a very serious buyer. My wife and I are very serious about buying your home. So I don't want to waste my realtor's time and waste my contractor's time to come out and bid the project 
if you're not really in it. And for me to feel like, you know, you're actually in this transaction, we'd feel more comfortable if we sign a contract. Uh, obviously, there's a due diligence period that allows us to come out and view the property and make sure we can confirm those details that you were telling us. But we would just feel more comfortable if we sign something. And if they still refuse, then, you know, it, sometimes you got to sometimes you got to do it. If it's a good deal, right? Like you comped it and you see that their first number to you is already at a discount. Okay, maybe it's worth sending somebody out there to go look at it. But for the most part, I don't want to waste, I just don't want to waste everybody's time. A lot of these sellers are just kicking tires. You know, they don't actually, they either don't want to sell or they're just, you know, they're just curious what, what an offer would look like from a fix and flip type person. So by signing the contract, it just solidifies that they're serious. So uh, my goal today is to make at least four or five really good offers. I have more properties than that, but not all of them are going to actually convert to an offer. It's really important. You guys need to be making at least 10 to 15 offers a week minimum that are good offers off market. That's what you guys need to be doing. In order to be doing this thing sustainable, buying one, two houses a month, that's what it takes. Now, if you're buying on the MLS, that's a completely different story. You need to be making way more offers than that. But as gen generally, when it comes to buying off market properties, that's kind of what it takes. So, and then my wife's looking so good today. She came up, she was looking so mighty fine. I said, we gotta go out to lunch because listen, the world's gotta see how good looking you are. If we stayed home and ate at home, we're doing the world a disservice, my friends. So we'll be going out to lunch. Not sure where we're going, but we'll take you with us. Oh, dang. G give us a fit check real quick. Give us a fit check. Back it up. Just a touch. Just a touch. Oh, my God. Look at you. Okay, well, my hair is in a clip because it's small life. But this is why we got to go out to eat, guys. Can't you see? Look at her. Just a professional woman. Shoes, Steve Madden. Oh, pants, oh. Abercrombie. What? Top Lululemon. Oh. Blazer, local boutique. Oh. Ba diaper bag, Lululemon. Oh. I got you. All right, listen. We don't we don't normally eat pizza on a random Thursday, but I saw I saw I saw a video on Instagram about their pizza though, and I had to come have it. All right, Lana. What up, dogs? What do you think of these? This is what it looks like broken down. The meatball, it says two meatball okay, we're sliders. Not, we're not food critics. Which we're not is food two critics. meatball sliders, but it's only half of a meatball. Hey. The <gasps> press. Look at this. Mm. Mm. You're kidding me, right? Oh. Guys. Guys, this is ridiculous. Leanna. Pick one up. I just want to for it. Oh my god. Burn my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a taste test for the, for the boys here. Chew. Oh. Oh my. I'm showing you too. I guess watch, watch, watch. This is so hot. You could have just roast your mouth. Had a good crunch though. Oh, good. Oh, we're going to a show that you guys won't be coming with us, but it's a magic show for kids. Oh, wow, look at this. This is like, you're wildest dream is like your wildest dreams coming true right now. Oh my god, get it. Get the cheese. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow. I don't know, but I look like a little shrimp with this in front. <laughs> it was good, I forgot to write. Initial, initial verdict though on that? The pepperoni is good. I didn't really get any of the crust, so next bite, hopefully crust. Oh, I thought Can that was you the door. Say overeat. Like, like I'm so freaking full. I it know. is unbelievable. No, seriously, I'm like really full. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for coming to the vlog, hanging out with the Carsons for an afternoon. Uh, until next time, see you tomorrow. Say bye bye. Wave. <laughs> That's what we got. Doop.